what is going on guys in this video we are going to create our first jetpack compose application till now we are creating our application using xml layouts where we have to write the ui in xml and we have to write the logic in kotlin file with the jetpack compose we can write logic as well as ui in a single kotlin code with the declarative approach so let's create first jetpack compose application in android studio so first thing i am using android studio latest version that is hedgehog version as of today so click on new project here you can see we have different options empty activity basic views activity bottom navigation and empty views activity so wherever views is there that is for xml views if you are using empty activity only empty activity means with the jetpack compose you can click on next here give the application name first compose app let's say you can select minimum SDK, let's select Android 8.0, it has 93.7% of devices support. Build configuration language, let it be recommended one and click on finish. It will take some time to load the project. So our project is created. First thing you will notice that we don't have any XML file. If you go over here resource, there is no layout folder as well. We don't have any layout file here. We only have mainactivity.kt. So here only we will write all the UIs. So this is automatically generated. You can see over here greeting and greeting preview. We don't have to worry about this for now. Let's delete this everything and delete this as well. So we only have this set content. So previously we used to have set content view. If you remember set content view. So here we need to pass layout. So whatever layout will be there activity main.xml that we used to pass. But now in Jetpack Compose we have this set content method. So if you go to the set content method by clicking control and click it, you can see over here it takes content that is composable. So it takes composable only. So set content will take the composable. Let's run the app as it is. Select the emulator or you can create new emulator from device manager. Let's click on run. So you can see our application is running, but there is nothing in our application because we have not added anything. So I will arrange this first. I'll put it over here. Let's say. So here side by side, we'll run the application in set content. We have to pass the composable. So what are the composable in XML? We used to have views. The views were text view. If you remember, edit text button image view. These were the views in XML. So here similar things we have in composable instead of text view we only have text instead of edit text we have text field button we have button image view we have image. So we will use all these composable over here. We don't have to write separate UI. We can just pass here composable. So in set content let's pass a text. So text is one composable. What it takes it takes text as a string. You can see over here it is a composable and it takes text as a string. So I will click on this and I will pass the text hello world. So I have given the text which is a composable for this set content. If I run the app, you can see over here hello world is displayed. It is working and this is our first application. The benefit is we don't have to write UI in XML. Here we have to do find view by ID then we can assign the text. But in composable we can directly create the UI over here. So similar way if you want to add another text you can just write here let's say this is good morning and if you run this you can see it is overlapped because we have only added a text and again the text it is overlapped in the same position so for that what we can do if you want to arrange this in xml we have linear layout relative layout constant layout here we can use row and column so if you see over here in the set content i will add row you can see this is the composable which takes the content as composable so if you click over here here again we can pass the composables. So if I cut this out and paste it over here, run it again, you can see now they are in row. If you make this column import, run it, you can see they are arranged in column. So in this way we can write the UI. So if you want to add button, button is another composable. So button, we have on click method. If you click over here, here we can pass the on click and inside this row scope we have to pass the composable. So if you remove this comment here, we have to pass on click, on click. Here in row scope, we have to pass the composable. So text is another composable. So here we can pass click me. If you run it, you can see the button is visible with click me and on click nothing is happening because we have not written anything here we will write toast dot make text let's say context we will say button is working 
let's say length will be short and show so we'll show the toast if i run it again click me so you can see the toast button is working so in this way with this line of code you can create ui as well as you can add the functionality like we have added over here we don't have to write separate ui and separate functionality with this declarative approach in jetpack compose we can write like this so this is very fast and very easy to create the application so this was the simple tutorial for how to create our first jetpack compose app if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye